What's well, YouTube? Capital G here. Dragonity pop off in this first duel. I feel like when we talk about decks that have a lot of potential, maybe they're just like one or two cards away. We talk about, you know, decks like Raid Raptors and, oh man, when they get their Link Monster, it's going to be nuts. Or when this deck and that deck gets their Link Magical Musketeers, etc. I feel like no one ever really talks about Dragonity. Like, its Link Monster is not overly impressive. However, what you can do with the Guard Dragon is just as impressive as anything else that we are seeing currently in the TCG when it comes to the Guard Dragon decks. And you guys will be able to see this. It's going to be absolutely magnificent. This deck is kind of built very similarly to like Thunder Dragon, some of the like dragon cards that are used, although the Dragonities themselves are kind of like dragons and they're also wing beasts. So goes for that Dragonity uh, Link Monster instantly he's gonna get the phalanx off the equip goes for the copy of uh what was that world legacy succession boom he's already into his guard dragon plays and it, it's cool because this is a deck that can like super exploit steam the cloak i still believe that this card is eventually going to get banned maybe it won't happen until we get crystal needle fiber like in the ocg but this card is still legitimately nuts like, it's still one of like the most disgusting cards uh and Yu -Gi -Oh. he's gonna drop the darkest diablos in the graveyard that is actually going to come up steam the cloak can trigger that card which is actually just kind of crazy when you think about it but he does have to get it actually out of the graveyard or he's got to get like tokens on the field so he does have to go ahead and get that out of the graveyard. Borlode Savage Dragon going to equip his guard dragon. Then he goes into the Hieratic Link Monster. Baby Rock is going to be used. That's for Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And there, this is <laughs> that's such a crazy play, right? He gave up Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon, a 2800 attack monster for freaking Steam the Cloak. And you're like, that's crazy. But what he really wanted to do was just trigger the Darkest Diablos. This, this can take a card out of his opponent's hand. If only he had that game. I saw a game. Okay, there, he banished game. I'm like if only you had that gamma bro he's gonna go ahead and summon chaos dragon levenir as well both of these are gonna get cards out of his opponent's hand he's gonna use steam the cloak get that token he actually tributed the steam the cloak not having to tribute darkest diablos itself so steam the cloak being dark attribute as all black wings are actually made a very big deal there or it made a very big impact now he's able to go into the titanic galaxy and i mean it's not bad especially when you top it all off from your standard amorphic goliath you know thunder dragons run this blue eyes danger decks run this as well and this is a turn one dragonity board isn't it it's incredibly strong you know the guard dragons allow every dragon deck to basically pop off i think i said that like three months ago that every dragon deck in Yu-Gi-Oh was going to become broken because of the guard dragons <laughs> it came to fruition i mean i thought even i was exaggerating by that but when you see things like you know blue eyes actually do meta things and topping regionals it's like eh, that actually wasn't an overstatement so he's able to win this duel fairly easily not used to seeing Steam the Cloak. I feel like people will start playing Steam the Cloak in like other decks. I feel like that card is still way too broken to just see absolutely no play at all. A lot of those Blackwing cards were, you know, obviously designed with Synchro Summoning and Mine, but, you know, they're just like really good for Link Summoning. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we have one of the worst Guard Dragon players I've seen. And uh, <laughs> this guy, this was an abomination to actually watch. I've watched this duel probably about six times now. The ABC player sent me the duel and he's like, Cap, I smashed guard dragons and i'm like yeah that's cool man but god this guy played worse than sin so so you just turn one he's playing abc uh or cyber dragon eh, abc cyber dragons i think i'll call it that and uh, he's gonna make a pretty decent turn one board with crusadia guard dragons not like the greatest i think he's gonna end on three disruptions uh crusadia generally go for crystal wing and not hot red dragon archie and abyss because they can make one card um they can make the one card nataria beast with rescue cat so they don't really need to stop spells as much as they need monster effects plus they can make don dragster or they can make Savage Dragon. So they really kind of need the monster effects. Now, let me just show you how badly he's going to play this. Cyber Dragon Naster is going to be um, negated with the Crystal Wing. I feel like that was already too early to negate. Um, what are you really afraid of? Like, I just don't get it. I probably would rather stop Hurts, to be honest, because he can just, like, contact Fuse. Now he's going to go for the Cyber Dragon Core. I believe that that's going to be negated. That that was probably okay to negate that one. Uh, Cyber Dragon Seeger, let's just think... 
If he would have had his Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, Seeger's effect could have been stopped here, but he's instead going to lose his Brawlo Dragon, or excuse me, his uh, Naturia Beast. Now he can activate some uh, effects, and he also lost his copy of uh, Saruja because he contact for you. So it's like, now your board just kind of got broken in half. He is going to attack, and um, now he's going to use Twin Twister. Twin Twister, uh, he has to respond to that. It's kind of like use it or lose it right here with Saruja, but he's just going to continue to make the misplays, man. He goes for cyber dragon uh core in the graveyard he instantly uses uh the copy of crystal wing i feel like that was probably too premature then he's going to negate the union hanger with borrowed savage like what are you doing i get your opponent only, only has one card in hand but what if that card is a live card like it is <laughs> the attacks with seeger off of the cyber red system now he gets monster reborn this is full effing troll right so what the, what you would think okay cap he's gonna bring back crystal wing synchro dragon nope he has said decides to bring back naturia beast i wanted to turn the duel off at this point i'm like this dude's actually trolling but i, I don't know i maybe i thought that there was some hope he could actually win the duel, but I just don't think so. Now he only has, I believe, one more counter on his copy of uh, Savage Dragon. He's going to lose Naturia Beast instantly. Had that been Crystal Wing, Crystal Wing would not have been able to be attacked. He would have had to attack over um, the uh, Crusadia Recusia, which, I mean, he would still have the Crystal Wing on board. And I feel like he'd be in just a way better position because he has no way of stopping the um, ABC Buster Dragon from tagging out. He goes into Equimax, but what exactly is that going to do? Now I feel like he just has given up on the door. And man, I don't think that I've ever seen a Crusadia Guard Dragon player play that bad. But, uh, you know, maybe it was the first time that this guy had played the, the deck before. He obviously scooped it up. He knew that he was not going to be able to win. His opponent could simply stall out with these ABC pieces, summon another Buster Dragon next turn. Obviously, he would have the uh, a card in hand to potentially use the Banish effect. Then he could just simply attack over Cruci or the uh, Eagle Max. He wouldn't even have to try to banish it. He could just attack over it banish the um the other monster i think he wouldn't even need to use the banish effect but it would just kind of be icing on the cake anyways hopefully you guys didn't get too tilted from that second duel just remember the first duel and act like the second duel didn't happen <laughs> if you guys enjoyed those duels give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos